Good, very late morning, everybody. A little after 11.30, 11.38, currently 56 degrees, 13 degrees Celsius. It is supposed to be a very, very beautiful day. And as you can see behind me and now in front of me, it is turning out to be such. Clouds are kind of going out. A little bit of a breeze, but uh, overall not too bad. All right, gonna get puppies on for a little walk here because we have not been, they've been outside on the patio. That's it, I've been editing video just got released actually just now had to change the thumbnail because it looks stupid so i found one with mike taking a photo and the dogs in it so I figured that'll work but uh overall good trip yesterday um it's it's a little stressful though with these guys i you know trying to focus on vlogging taking photos learning the camera focusing keep an eye on the dogs so they're not jumping off cliffs it's a little challenging, but uh, that's why I don't do these big ones like on my own because I can't. I need more eyes, especially with these guys when I'm doing things. So, and Mike is very, very helpful. So, <clears throat> hoping to get out of here in the next half hour, well, 20 minutes or so. Um, my game plan is to take both pairs of my drivewares down to him in Shimokan. Um, told him, I said, I can just drop them off because I want to go over to the Aldi's there and get some photos for the manager, um, send them to him, what the new store layout is going to be. I personally want to see it myself. Um, and if they're not done yet, then we might take a look over at Wiser real quick because it's like 15, 20 minutes away from the store because um, they drained the 42 side lake reservoir. Uh, so... Take a look at that. Take a very mild, short little walk. Uh, nothing, nothing extreme today. Pick up my glasses and then we head home. So maybe I'll get myself one of my free McDonald's sandwiches or something since I'm going to be out that way or wherever, just to since I still have points to use up. But I hope everybody enjoyed yesterday's vlog. It was, uh, like I said, it was it was fun, but it. it those trips do get a little, especially when you start adding in the digital camera. I don't know if I want to take the Sony with me today. I probably will uh, push come to shove if I see something that I want to get pictures of. What I can do is just put them back in the car, run out on my own, get some photos, and then, you know, come back. Uh, the big problem is, so Mike gave me all 300 and some odd photos off his camera yesterday, plus my 207. And with the new Apple Photos app, it's a pain in the you know what to figure out what camera is what. As I'm editing through some of them, I can tell when Photoshop Express renders it out. If it's like 10,300 10, by something, that's Mike's camera. That's the OM1, it's not mine. So mine are like 5,700 by like 80, 32 or something like that because he's got a full frame sensor, 80 megapixels, where I've got 20 megapixel, one inch sensor. It's quite a difference in size. But I've been editing some photos. I might put a little photo montage together video. I know I said I was gonna do that in the other video and that from Kinzua, that just turned into a freaking nightmare. <clears throat> and the vlog was already, I mean, I had like well over an hour and I decided to, you know, the time lapses kind of stretched them out for the entire length of that song. And I finally got zinged on my outro song. Mike warned me probably eight months ago that it was no longer on, uh, it was, you know, and it, what pisses me off is the song title does not match, neither does the creator or anything. So I still think it's fraudulent copyright claims on, on the music. So I switched over to the track that he gave me where it licenses added every time. So I'm allowed to use it and I asked him if he has any more music. He said yes, but he needs to send it to me. <laughs> so I'll talk to him about that tonight. He works, what, 10 to 5. So and it's going for noon. We should get there. If we leave here around 12, we should get there around 1 o'clock or so. That would be plenty of time. I am taking her car today. So that comment keeps coming up. Why am I not using my car? Um, so with the little issues going on with her car, she'd rather drive my car when she has to go to work and whatnot. So I just haven't been, it, it's too much to swap over. Just to swap over yesterday, I had to swap over the water bag, the snack bag, and the emergency medical bag uh, on top of the suction cup and get everything reset up in my car for that trip. Now, it was a longer trip, but just to go out and on a quick little outing, 
her car will do it. It won't. It shouldn't be a problem. So, I mean, we do have to kind of jet down 80. Actually, I think what we're going to do is go down Turbot through Turbotville and then come out through Danville. Just do it that way. Um, it's, I don't know, a little more scenic, but it does cut some mileage off. I'm kind of listening to the uh, to Apple Maps and Google Maps and stuff because it does actually save me some, some mileage on the cars, even though it takes a little bit longer. Now, last night I came home a different way because I had to stop Sam's Club, get milk, Montour was able to get gas in the car again. Surprisingly, 140 miles, well, uh, that's the last time I looked at it. It only took like 15 bucks to fill it. But it's crazy because Buckhorn was like 16 cents a gallon cheaper in gas. And that stupid Goodyear card it says it works at Exxon stations. There's only two Exxon stations I found that it works at. The one in Montoursville and the one uh, when we went to Liberty twice when we went out that way. Because Tim and I went the same direction two different weeks in a row. So, but, so that's the game plan today. I hope everybody's had a good weekend and is uh, doing well. And But yeah, there, there's reason I've been using her car is because we're using it for shorter trips, but I don't want to run that brand new tank of gas down and her car needs gas. So while I'm out, I'll come back, I'll fill it, and then I'll be done for the week with fuel. I'm just basically trying every Exxon station I can find to see which ones do take it. It's just random. I'm That, that Goodyear car doesn't work. It's supposed to, but... So I think we're going to go down to the end of the sidewalk, maybe go up through around the playground, and then get back to the house, get myself around, because i got to get my keys and all that stuff, kind of switch my backpack around a little bit, because of yesterday I had the kitchen sink, I had my Under Armour backpack, so much crap with me yesterday, it was not funny. I brought the OM6 with me yesterday, but it just is not something, especially with these guys, I can't believe I did the whole thing at... Uh, wildwood with it so all right this has been like a seven minute first opening clip so this is probably like three quarters of or a quarter of the vlog already <laughs> so we're gonna finish our walk here and then uh, get back to the house and get ourselves moving so i'm not sure when you'll see us again maybe at wiser uh for that little bit of a, a look so far so we do oh that, before i get off that so Tim and I were talking last night because he went to New York for a friend's birthday party. I was telling him what happened with the camera. And he gets on the listing, and sure enough, it does say that this CPL filter is not waterproof, which makes no sense because when I put them side by side, they look identical on the inside. So I don't know why. I don't think, I think when I took it off to try to clean it off, I think I moved the seal, and uh, that caused my problem where the water got in. So yeah i don't know might not be doing that anymore <laughs> yeah we got puppies too we got the puppies what you doing big girl yeah you guys aren't going to get to see uncle mike today not unless we get there around his lunchtime which i don't know mm, 10 11 12 one. yeah that'd be like two o'clock so i don't think we'll be there that late but they were happy to see the uncle mike it's been a while hasn't it oh i said his name you want to go see him again <laughs> And the other odd problem I had yesterday was the microphone was blasting. I don't, and it was the whole time. I don't understand why. Now, I did find out why the light was like yellow, because I had noise reduction on in the microphone. So what I did this morning was I actually unsynced it and resynced it to the camera and turned noise reduction off. I'm still running like a plus two. I think I have to. Um, but yeah, it was like way overblown. I had to cut all the audio down by like four and five decibels just to, uh, make it sound decent. I don't know what the heck that was all about yesterday. So little, couple minor little glitches yesterday, but, uh, I feel like the Action 5 did a really good job except for the, the fogging. The crazy thing was the Sony with the, um, the video where it was, you know, running in slow, slow shutter video, and I was able to get the waterfalls, and it looks like those paintings that are electronic where the waterfall's running. That's what I made it look like. I'm like, that looks really cool. When I put it on the tripod, 100 times better. I said, Mike, we need to go back up to Letchworth. <laughs> I need to do that with all those waterfalls because I have some with the uh, iPhone, but they're, they're just stills because when you take the 
live photo and make it a long exposure. It's basically what we're doing. We were making the camera do long exposure. If we're going to do that though, I am because Tim even said something to me yesterday after Mike and I were hanging out. That camera's got a built-in ND filter, I think up to 64. He was running like 16 or 32 yesterday, but it'll create a long exposure because you can slow your shutter speed down even more. Mine fit, mine, I, I didn't even know this until ooh, maybe eight months ago that my camera actually can fit filters in it, 72s. So I might be looking for filters to do long, ex better long exposures in the future and definitely going to be using a tripod going forward. Alrighty everybody, good afternoon. It's like 2.30 and glasses are adjusted. All these pictures are done and we are at the Route 54 Wiser. Let's see what the water levels are like. Alright, even though I, really you're peeing on the car? That's rude. Even though I had them out at Walmart the first time we were there. So I dropped the glasses off. Mike got to fix them. And then uh, went over to Aldi's, took pictures. Sent them to the store manager at my store. And uh, tra jumped in tractor supply. And Mike texted me that they were ready. So now we're here. So apparently the reason they drained this down was for the dam on the other end to do some repairs to it. So... I mean, from here it doesn't look that low, but when we get up closer, I might notice it more and someone didn't pick up their dog crap. Come on, Priya, leave that alone. Come on, leave that alone. Alrighty. Yeah, okay, it's down. There's much more shoreline. Kind of want to get a little survey without the camera and with, with the dogs, get them a walk. Crap, forgot to turn on my timer. Yeah, because normally the water would be lapping. Yeah, I've never seen these rocks before right here. And down a little bit. Maybe four or five, four or five feet, maybe. Uh, see if there's any good shots to get when I bring the camera out. That might be. Because I can stand out in there and actually get down through the lake for once. Because normally this is water right here. It's just lapping up against. There's a couple little entry spots that normally fishermen are in that we can't get to. So hopefully we can get to all them today. And I'm not risking any more underwater right now with this thing. A little concerned about that seal. I think I have it in there right now. But I do have the CPL filter on. I did not look at the temperature in the car when we got here, but it is definitely brisker than it was in town. It's, I think it's like 8 to 10 degrees difference over here. Because you go over the mountain and then you drop down. And on the way out, I think we might kind of just cruise by Centralia real quick. And then uh, make our way home. So, But it's quite windy out too on top of it being a little bit brisker. Looks like they spruced up some things around here. The poles and everything are all refreshed and brand new. And we got another doggy coming. All right, so this is basically, for those of you who did not understand what I was talking about, when my, Tim and I went to Kinsua, this was my other option that weekend, was the drive through They open this up t once a year now for like five hours that you can actually drive your car through for the foliage. And we did not, we elected to do Kinsua instead. Personally, I think since we've done the drive through here, it was it was worth doing something different because this is definitely much closer. And Kinsua is going to be closed now for a couple, for a while. They are going to open it for foliage time though. Uh, so if I can get a, a day, maybe Terry and I will go, Tim and I will go, Mike and I will go, somebody and I will go. But I felt like it was the, the better adventure than doing the drive through again, because Mike was not able to do it. So it would have just been me and the dogs. And last year, kind of, we had a little bit of a, I pulled in as they got pushed through. They kind of had to leave the parking area. So we didn't catch up until about three quarters of the way down the trail. This is also the trail that we did where there's three of these reservoirs and the dogs and I walked all the way to the end of Reservoir 2, which round trip was like 7.8 miles. We are not doing that at 2.30 in the afternoon. So... We are just going to 
check out Lake One. There's, I think, we did the, the first entry, third, second, third, and Mike said about a fourth one where there should be a rock or something. I may redo it and take some photos with Sony. I don't know yet. As the sun's kind of coming down, it might be kind of a good idea. It might look pretty cool. That's a question I have for you guys. Though. With like when we're doing the big adventures, is it? I personally like the idea of not filming until I'm to that adventure and just starting it. The time lapse I know yesterday was a little on the long side. I apologize. I was trying to keep it. I only did sections, so I kind of let it go for almost four minutes. That might have been a little too much, but oh, that might be the rock he's talking about out there. Yeah, there's definitely rocks visible. I don't have the Forden on me, but I do have the iPhone. It's with me, I just don't have it. There we go. Come in a little bit. There's some other rocks over yonder. I'll try not to move too fast at 11.6x. That might be where he's talking. So we're going to make our way down just a little bit further and see if there's a narrow little entryway in. All right, it is pretty, don't get me wrong. I wish there was, we, we need to get out here in the foliage time though. Cause this is, Mike's got some amazing photos of the trees and stuff all orange in the back and the mountains and the reflection. If there wasn't wind and this is smooth, then you get that reflective look. So, but yeah, when we do the big adventures, I, I, I filming stuff at home you see that every day figure just wait until we're to the place maybe do a couple little clips driving um, I'm not going to sit there and do a whole time lapse because it's just too much you guys need to get moving um, but yeah let me know in the comments if you like that format when we do the big ones of it just basically being of that now the sunset last night I was not passing that up I had to film that the whole way <laughs> It, it never ended. It was really late in the trip when it finally was to the point where we were not facing it anymore. Come on, puppies. I feel like I'm dragging Priya. She's like not walking. Okay, spot number three. We only got one more to go. As much as I kind of want to walk to the that little bridge, but I don't think it'd really be worth it. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to bring the other camera out, put them in the car, and uh, try to get these rocks and stuff. That looks really neat. Well, you run into them with a kayak and you don't know they're there, that'd be bad. Is there a bird or something over there? Yes, there is. There's something on that one. All right. It's just peaceful out this way. You get a lot of fresh air. Not bad of a trip. It's like an hour and 16 minutes, I think, for me. Of course, we went the wrong way to go to the store. It took me... Now I know why my ex-manager told me to not to go that way. <laughs> All right, this looks like the trail Mike's talking about. He said it was narrow. It looks wider right now because... of all the foliage being down yep oh whatever bird oh he's flying away shit i'm not gonna get him he flew off damn it it was like a eagle son of a oh i wish he would have landed on a rock nearby yeah there's the rocks he's talking about Man. Oh, that irks me. <laughs> I didn't think he'd be there by the time I got the digital camera out, but at least if I caught him with the iPhone. But he flew away. Uh, he might be on the uh, action. All right, guys. What's one of the dumbest things you can do when you uh, take your digital camera out in the field? Not put the memory card back in it from the night before. It's sitting at home, so I can't take any photos. Oh, that sucks. Oh well. It was uh, <laughs> it was a good idea, 
Uh, I'm glad I didn't have it with me when the, that hawk was sitting there because I would have been really pissed if I couldn't take pictures. Uh, I didn't get it regardless, I don't think. Alrighty, home we go. Alright, so right here is where we would turn to go home, but we're going to just take a cruise up here about, I think it's one mile, and we will be in the infamous town of Centralia where there's nothing left. For those of you not familiar, uh, it has been burning underground with coal fires since um, Mike, Tim, and I all, we did this. I had the drone uh, a little ways up the road here. Yeah, so at one time, this was all a bustling town. Now it is nothing. We might go back up that road just to see what we can see. This used to all be houses in here. The roads are dilapidated and falling apart. I think this is the one that we actually drove down and then we parked and spun around. Might be over one. Yeah. I said people, they might have actually torn the other house down that was back in here. This all you I mean you can see the intersections and stuff where they come across. There's nothing here. We try to see the vents at one point and uh, that was a no-go too. It's not posted back here, but I don't think that road is truly open anymore. We'll just spin around right here. You can see some graffiti on this portion of the road. Looks like there's a trail back in there, but We can actually turn down this road. And we'll go out to that other one. People can yell at me all they want. Sorry, I had to turn myself around and pass my road. <laughs> it's just it's really crazy to think. Yeah, there's a couple houses back in here yet. I don't know why you'd want to just keep living here, though. One little crazy part of uh, my great state of Pennsylvania that I live in here. Alrighty. Go down this one, go to the stop sign, make left and make our turn, and make our way home. Yeah, still remnants of sidewalk there on the cross street. Just unbelievable. I still think, I, I, I don't understand why. I mean, I understand in the time of the when it happened, technology, but the fact that even today they can't figure a way to shut that fire down, it still burns. Like 30 some years later, 40 years later, I'm not sure. I, I'm going to look at the timeline. I'll put a little text in there when it started. I'm pretty sure it was late 80s, early 90s that it that it started. And they 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 had all these plans to try to put it out, but you grab this coal township and the coal under the ground caught a spark and it's just been smoldering ever since Mike and I we tried to go see the vent and that was like a no-go because they have it you, there's no place to pull over and park um, and we were afraid we we're gonna get in trouble it's posted now but one of those weird things that happen I guess that is a huge freaking piece of coal they're using for their freaking marker in their driveway wish I would have filmed that <laughs> but all right well I hope you guys enjoyed this little short trip it sucks I don't have an SD card that I could take photos with but I don't think there was a whole lot to do kind of a make it a quick day all right I have complained about cleaning this windshield for how long 
The sun hit me. I couldn't see out the windshield anymore. Pulled over in a Dollar General parking lot and just cleaned the front and the back glass. Now I can see, I mean, I cleaned that when I was at the gas station on the outside, but I did it again with the newspaper and the spray away foaming that doesn't foam anymore. I think it froze in my car and it's not really that great. It's still a little speckly, but it's definitely not hazy anymore. I think this windshield's probably pitted from being as old of a car as it is. Okay. Now we have a clean windshield. I can see where the hell we're going to get home. That really bugs me though. I did check and see if they maybe had SD cards in there. Not that I was going to run back over the mountain for it, but I need to make sure I'm keeping stuff with me. Normally I pull it right back out and put it right back in the camera. Stupid. Guess I wasn't supposed to take pictures. Alrighty, we're almost back home. So I said to clean the windshield, but boy, this the windshield is so scratched and pitted. Even when the sun does hit it still, it's <laughs> easy to see through, unfortunately. <clears throat> we turned away from the sun for the moment. I was trying to show you, but I'm sure there'll be other times. It might hit us here from this side, but I don't think it's going to have the same effect. Not a bad trip. This little car, I'll tell you what, for it having some mechanical problems, it, it does travel pretty decent. I always worry a little bit, especially with this type of trip. But this was like... I forget how many miles. It was a lot, though. More than I should have with it. But. Oh, yeah. Sun is setting. Moon lapse has arrived. I'm going to go pick it up out of the mailbox when I get home. And uh, see if I can figure a way to test that bad boy out tonight. My simple plan, basically, is just to put the tripod on the uh, patio. And aim it toward the trees and toward the sky. And let it go i thought about maybe sitting in the car putting the magnet on the roof of this and sitting up by my dad's but we'll see what we'll see how clear it gets if it stays like it is right now where there's a little bit of clouds and stuff i don't think that's a good idea now the moon is still going still you know it's on the back side of it I still have a couple um weeks yet uh the 30th i think is new moon so I definitely want to get out in that new moon because this month was two of them. Um, but last night, I didn't even see the moon. And I didn't get out this morning. Well, yesterday morning, it was still up in the sky when I got up. I forget, like 8 o'clock in the morning or 10 o'clock in the morning. It was still like very bright in the sky. It was crazy. So... But it's uh, it's definitely lower. I'm I gotta look back and when I took that other photo when it came over the mountain. I would love to catch that again with the better cameras. Now, I caught that with the RX10, but I don't know what I'd want to use because the RX10 allows me to zoom as long as I put a memory card in it. <laughs> I did that. Uh, I'm bummed out about the, the hawk flying away, though. He was huge, too. Hawk, eagle, whatever it was. It was a big-ass freaking bird. And hopefully it's on video and I can have Mike look at it and tell me what it was. Maybe you guys can. Pretty sure it was an eagle, though. Could have been a hawk. I don't know. thing was massive, though, sitting on the rock. Yeah, I'm not worried about the mic. I just want the sun to chill. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to come across with the camera. I, I hopefully cleaning it does help, though. I mean, I really do feel like that CPL lens has definitely helped. Ooh. And with that in the cloud over there, got the rainbow. Rice crystals reflecting over here. Cool. Oh, I forgot what that's called. One year, it just kept happening over and over and over again. look it up and try to put it in text. It won't be too much longer. It's 423. So it'll be real soon. Yeah, but these little bit of clouds here, that'll kind of mess that moon lapse up. I also got to be careful that the damn 
motion light doesn't go off. That'll change the uh, 30 second time on the iPhone. One last shot of this. It's not head on right now, so it's not doing it. I mean, I can see a little bit of where it's hitting on the driver's side of the machine. I'm going to go around the stump truck and not run into it. Sun is bright though. <laughs> Alrighty, home sweet home. Yep, this is what I'm talking about, like right through here. Now that the trees are bare, this might actually be a pretty decent shot if I get it angled right. So, that's my concept. And Mr. Sun is setting still. Oh, yeah. Got the princess out here. Mateo decided to run away. But I got to thaw their freaking turkey out to give him dinner. <laughs> going to give him dinner and we're going to take a quick little walk here before it gets dark. So, it is, it's nice out here. What is it, 57 according to my watch? Oh, let's take a look. Yeah, I didn't, I never did look at the, um, the actual weather up there, uh, 55 and 12, so, that makes sense, yeah, yep, 55 degrees Fahrenheit, 12 degrees Celsius, so, alrighty, I'll give them dinner, and then I will see you guys on a walk. Impatiently waiting for his dinner, but it's frozen, so, had to heat it up twice here, now I might have made it too hot, nope, perfect. And we have happy puppies. Dinner time. <laughs> if you broth her her dry food, which is actually his, she eats it better. All right, dinner time for them is done. Oh, take a little walk, and then uh, I'm gonna make bow ties, butter and pasta, and basically just butter and cheese and some green beans. I might just throw my green beans right in my pasta, but I'm not gonna do that with all of it. That way, if she wants any of it, she can decide if she wants both or not. So, I like vegetables right in my pasta, personally. If we had spinach, I'd do that. So, but we don't, because we only, we only get produce, like, when we're gonna be home together and we're gonna actually be able to eat it. We try not to waste it, because you pay for it, and throwing it away is stupid. <laughs> huh. Got like a reflection going on there. There we go. There we go. The iPhone recording. And the action so that I can use the audio. Pretty shot. Alright. Pedal one. What are we doing back here, Princess? You're, I'm dragging you still. You don't, you don't seem to want to walk today. Anywhere we go. She goes, no, not particularly. I'm a basset hound. definitely feels like a little bit different type of day off for me. I mean, I still have a lot of crap I need to do. I gotta clean the room up. I was thinking about time-lapsing doing that, but uh, I don't think I'm going to. Instead, I might actually film a little bit of me cooking instead. Not that that's gonna be overly difficult, you know, heat up green beans and uh, boil water and throw pasta in it. So maybe I'm not even gonna do that. <laughs> but I am starving, because this guy hasn't eaten today yet. And like I said, it is going for 5 o'clock at night. It is 4.41. Been up since 7 a.m. Yeah. Had nothing to eat. I had a couple bites of the seasoned chicken before we left the house. And I mean a couple tiny little bites. A lot of bone in that. You know, and we need to debone it and the rest of it. So. <sighs> yeah. I hungry. <laughs> I don't know how I do these days because there's other days where I get so hungry that I can't function and then sometimes I can just go all day without eating. It's probably not the best thing in the world because now I'm really hungry and I'm going to like binge on pasta. But, eh. I'm not doing cocaine or, you know, any of these other drugs. So, I guess I, there's worse things I could do to myself. Oh, yeah. When we saw, so I mentioned there was a sign on the door about Thanksgiving down here at the, the Dollar General Market. Um, and I didn't, I didn't get like right up to the door that day because I had the dogs. Dollar General is open Thanksgiving Day. Really? Why? That's just asinine. Can't give their people Thanksgiving off. 
working their normal normal hours on Thanksgiving Day. That's just ridiculous. I'm kind of curious if they're open though. So we're going to drag Priya this way. Right now I'm in a backward V. And Taya went around me the wrong way and now they're on opposite sides of me. Oh well, that's the way it is. Well, I was going to check and see if they're open, but Roscoe's out. Unleashed, walking across the parking lot. So, not going to not gonna do that right now. I don't want little man to get into a fight. We're not going to go through that spot. We're going to go through this spot instead. In fact, I think we're done going down. Get the sunset one more time, and uh, yeah. Head back to the house. All right, fine. I can hear the comments now. You can show us you cooking. <laughs> oh, why not? All right. Yeah, one can of green beans, I think, should be enough for me. I don't know if she's going to have any or not. Trenchings all out. Furnace on. Nice and low. Green beans are on. Super high for this one. That's the big burner. And like I said, I'm just doing bow ties. I love these. But my trick with pasta is I season the hell out of the water. So, oh, we're going to do a little garlic powder. A little onion powder. Maybe. It comes out. Come on, one more. There we go. Got to give it some flavor. A little bit of seasoned salt. Make sure I open the right side, otherwise all the seasoned salt will be in it. I mean, pasta is not the healthiest thing for you to begin with, so I make it even unhealthier. All right. Now, before I pinch salt and pepper, wash my hands. I have an interesting concept right now. I'm going to stick you guys closer and let you time lapse watching this thing boil. And one more. Here we go. Get low on the pepper in there. Yeah, let's go higher so it doesn't cook the lens. It's only been about seven minutes. I don't think bow ties cook that fast. They're a little thicker in the middle. So I'll let them boil a little longer. Say it like another three minutes at least. Why am I put too much pepper in there? Oops.
Alright, that's been 20 minutes now. It should be. They should be done. It's the center parts here that don't get cooked real easy. Hot! Go figure something isn't boiling water, it's hot. Putting off there. Alright, need a knife. Some butter. Break some sperm jar. It's a clumps. Nice. Never have too much cheese, right? And then the magic ingredient. Ken's Italian. Sloppy, but it's gonna be yummy. All right, uh, the rest of that butter will melt as it sits there. All righty, guys, and that is dinner. And bon appetit! Yummy, 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 yummy. All righty, good evening, everybody. Unfortunately, that is my arch nemesis right now, but this is a test, so some of these photos are gonna be wrong. That's okay, but we've got loom laps working. So that little box that the red light on connected to the power bank that you probably can't see. Hold on. I have a light for that. So that guy there, phone's plugged in and it's literally, let me turn that light back off, but it's already fired off. We'll hold still here for the next 22 seconds here. And we got Mr. Baker on the phone over here. Yeah, Mike is with you too. Yep. <laughs> so I didn't bother hooking the microphone up. I figure that way if we're talking, you guys get both sides of the conversation instead of me talking to myself. But watch what this thing does. It makes you look like less of a nut job. If that's possible. <laughs> okay. That photo's done. And bam! Fires another shot right away. And I'm just going to let this thing do this. It's got power. That battery, that's a 10,000 milliamp, I believe. 20,000 milliamp, I believe that Mophie is. And I've recharged it. So... That should last a while, and the phone was at 100%. That'll make the drain even less. And it's just doing photos. Photos shouldn't drain the photo battery too much, right? No. So. Alrighty, everybody. Oh, I'll light myself up here real quick. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will see you tomorrow as always. Have a great night and stay safe. If you're new to the channel, thumb up, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Give me some ideas. And uh, maybe eventually Mike and I can get together again in January and uh, make some things happen. I'm sure we'll see each other before then, but it's going to be a tough one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good night.